let's take new exercise in solid works frame structure weld one let's design this simple frame in solid works now here all dimensions are in millimeter iso standard square tube now we have here one table uh, this is a, a weldment cut list you have to see item 1 to 6 quantity and description this is the square tube 80 by 80 into 5 millimeter okay these are the length now you will observe these are the parts okay now this is the 2d drawing this is top view this is let's say this is front view and this is side view side view let's say 800 millimeter and in front view this total length 1000 millimeter okay now see the length 500 plus 20 millimeter is going to add as a cap and 80 millimeter this is the square tube 200 millimeter see 200 200 this is the dimension for this uh, uh, vertical support okay tapered support actually and add, there is one more support at center 500 millimeter okay this support we are going to add both side okay so let's do this first now go to weldment right click go to tabs and activate weldment feature from here now directly select 3d sketch okay now i want to create one 3d sketch so select here top plane and here choose normal see now let me activate center rectangle and start from origin point drag escape key to out smart dimension this is going to be 1000 millimeter and this is going to be 800 millimeter isometric view escape key to out now select let me select this one and this is along x axis you will see so here select x axis now see it seems fully refined line now start from this point now you will see the arrow shows up direction so i am going to move y direction press escape key to out again press l key in your keyboard and activate line tool see now similarly i am going to do at all four corners escape l exactly down even though you can select right click choose exit again press l exit isometric view now here i am going to select all these vertical lines all four corner vertical lines and here i am going to define equal smart dimension 500 okay now for taper line i am going to select line and i am going to click here to here exit two hundred now here to here two hundred okay now I am going to mirror this one so let me select here mirror entity now select mirror entity now copy to mirror make sure you selected copy drop down and choose front plane now you will see the preview say ok again activate mirror entities now entities to mirror i am going to select these two lines one two make sure you selected copy mirror about right plane now you will see the preview say ok look it seems fully defined sketch ok now one more line now line make sure you will see there is a midpoint yellow color this is the midpoint now keep cursor on this line and select midpoint exit now just rotate this model see this line not going to fit with this so just drag this line this end point and find out the midpoint you will see this yellow color this is midpoint now see leave and see this is coincide now see simply exit now go to weldment and activate structural member now here first i am going to define the standard iso standard square tube and 80 by 80 into 5 millimeter now let me select first group 
first group which one i am going to select i am going to select uh, this one 1 2 3 4 5 but just check from top side see these frames are outside we should keep inside so what we will do come down now this is the apply corner treatment we need wedge shape uh not wedge shape this is end meter okay now gap if you want to keep any gap between these two you can apply here but we are not going to keep here choose locate now if you select locate you have to select carefully now i am going to select this outside corner see upper side okay no uh, we need to move this one upside so i am going to choose this downside okay see look the profile going to exactly align let me select top face okay look this is perfectly inside now again i am going to select here new group now this time i am going to select this line now let me check okay this is also not perfectly aligned this is at center but you will see the preview locate position now i want to move this one select this bottom center point see this is how move here new group now let me select this one okay let me select all and i will see what will happen see all are outside so we have to select this outer point okay remember this is important here group 3 selected now locate profile now select this corner point now let me check what happened to others others are not going to be now i am going to delete some select these three delete this one now only keep one okay now activate new group select this line locate this end point now let's check once uh, is going to fix okay new group select this line similarly go down choose locate profile this time i am going to select this end point fine new group come down locate and select this outer point now these all are going to be aligned with this say okay okay just let's check okay even you can add profile in same or even you can select new no problem everything is same let me select this okay now let's check the angle this is not going to be perfectly aligned you will see so here first i am going to change angle 45 degree now this is perfectly aligned locate in location what we have to choose uh, okay which part we are going let's say this end point okay let's check okay this is going to be perfectly aligned okay now but there is a problem this is not uh, perfectly aligned here so here we have option trim extend now first corner type we have to select the corner type this is end trim okay we will keep this one body to be trimmed this body i want to trim okay i want to trim this extra part which is inside this tube now we have to choose boundary trimming boundary i am going to choose body here either choose face or body i am going to select body and select this one if i am going to uncheck this allow extension this is not going to extend up to this but if check allow extension this is going to move now here 
I have to select two bodies because I want to trim this body with reference these two body. So we selected here two. Now the next option is preview. Now here weld gap even though you can keep the gap between these two but let's keep zero this one. Say ok. And see. You can mirror these all parts. Let's say mirror reference front plane. Here choose body. You will see the preview. Say OK. Again choose mirror. Reference plane right plane. Now here bodies to mirror. Select one, two. You will see the preview. Say OK. Now click and hide this. Now there is a square. This is end cap 110, 110 and corner radius 10 millimeter. And if you see the depth 20 millimeter. There are total how many number? This is actually four number. It is not mentioned but this is four number. Part number six. Okay. Now let me activate here. Go to weldments end cap. Okay, I am going to select any one. Now select this face. Now first you have to define thickness. Now see material flow outside. So keep outward thickness 20. Let's find. Now here two options offset. Let's say thickness ratio. If zero, if you keep zero means the wall of this uh, end cap and the this one is parallel. There is no if you keep you have to keep 0 to 1, let's say 1, 1 inside outside, see, 1 millimeter thickness of this wall. If I am going to select 0.5, see this is going to lies at up to center of this base thickness. See this is going to extend up to center of this, okay. But let me select offset and uh, I want to extend total 80 millimeter 10 10 both side okay offset 15 reverse 80 15 here 15 here 110 millimeter corner treatment radius 10 millimeter now here I am going to select more number of faces Say OK. And here we completed this simple structure. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects inside works. Thanks for watching.